Hello and welcome to this week's course. My name's Lance and I will be taking you through as we explore how teaching games for understanding can be a game changer when it comes to teaching games in sports in schools. So let's dive in. So first of all, how can teaching games for understanding uh, look in practice? So as teachers, how can it physically look? So teaching games for understanding is a student-centered model that focuses on increasing learners' knowledge and understanding of games rather than solely emphasising technical skill. It was developed by researchers at Loughborough University, building upon the work of Bunker, Forp, Kirk and McPhill. The underlying idea is to tap into a child's inherent desire to play, allowing them to understand strategies and principles whilst engaging in gameplay. By playing games, learners then develop a, a much deeper comprehensive of the game. So, Students often begin a, a teaching games for understanding session by playing a modified or full-scale version of the game. They then engage in a skill or a tactical exercise to improve their performance. Finally, they then return to the game uh, to then demonstrate their better skills or tactical execution. This strategy is said to be more pleasant than the usual method of delivering PE since it allows students to develop their gameplay skills within the setting of the game. However, if not well prepared, this technique might be might then lose focus and descend into that unstructured play. But the actual model itself looks at basically doing a game. So you start off the activity as a game. Uh, I would advise to do something like a 4v4 rather than the 15 on 15 if you've got 30 in a class. Uh, and then we then have a look and do some practices. So what's meant by practices, we look at this tactical skill. We look at this underlying skill that we can try and help them, help the children with. So if you notice they're struggling with something, we can then break that down into a skill, get them to the practice that skill. And then after that, we'll then bring it back into a game environment. So what are the benefits of using this style of teaching and this model? So it implemented teach games for understanding in physical education brings a real wide range of benefits. It improves learners' physical and cognitive health. It promotes overall development and positive impacts uh, on their social and emotional skills. So those overall life skills that they need uh, in, in general. Through this model, learners make informed decisions, solve those problems with the game context and develop essential life skills like teamwork, collaboration and communication skills. The model also fosters resilience as the learners learn to overcome failure and again, and then gain confidence through decision making uh, with their efforts. So, what are the six stages of teaching games for understanding? So, teaching games for instance follows a structured progression through six key development stages. So, first of all, we have game. We then have game appreciation, tactical awareness, appropriate decisions, skill execution, and performance. In the initial stages, learners learn about the fundamental concepts and the rules of the game. They gradually progress to understand strategies, tactical awareness, skill execution, and then finally using their knowledge and talents to enhance their overall performance. These stages then create a real solid foundation for learners to become proficient and well-rounded sports players. So we're going to have a look at utilising different categories of games within the Teaching Games for Understanding. So what Teaching Games for Understanding do is they utilise four main categories of games. So these are invasion, territorial games, striking and fielding games, net and wall games and target games. These categories then enable learners to develop their skills through these key movements that really align with various sports. So by engaging these games uh, with these games, learners become physically literate across multiple activities instead of just one. They learn the important rules of the game, understand the tactical challenges, and then hopefully they'll then grow into those confident sport players. So what we'll do now is we're going to have a look at some of the challenges. So implement to teach games for understanding in physical education lessons comes with its fair share of challenges so being able to really create an authentic meaningful lesson that allows learners to gauge cognitively and understand the principles and strategies of the game can be really demanding especially within a school setting 
Uh, replicating game-like situations and assessing learners' understanding and performance can also pose a lot of difficulties. It really does require teachers to consider not just the physical ability, but also the learner's comprehension of the game's principles and those overall strategies. But let's let's have a look and see how we can challenge uh, challenge these together and try and address them. So to overcome the challenges of implementing TGFU, I found ways to adapt my surroundings, utilize available resources. This includes by incorporating visual demonstrations, leveraging on that technology within teaching and providing additional opportunities for learners to gain uh, that game experience, especially outside of the school rather than in the school. It's also crucial for teachers to plan and prepare lessons that promote this engagement, the fundamental game concepts, concepts and techniques that align with the teaching games for understanding model. So collaboration with colleagues can help create that game like setting that enhances learner engagement and understanding. Additionally, incorporating various teaching approaches such as those visual aids and demonstrations that can either be peer or it can be you doing it yourself and implementing effective assessment methods are essential to support learners overall development. So just as a little bit of a conclusion, uh, TGFU offers numerous benefits for teaching physical education in sports. By adopting this model, teachers can create an environment that fosters lear learners' holistic growth, including the physical, cognitive, social and emotional aspects. While challenges may arise with carefully planning, adaptability and the support of resources and colleagues, teaching games for understanding can truly transform the learning experience for our students. So first of all, thank you very much for joining us on this Teaching Games for Understanding course. Uh, let's continue to explore and for teaching methods and create an impactful learning environment for our learners. Together, we can really inspire a lifelong love for sports and physical activity. If you guys have any questions or you want to learn about this in a little bit more detail, I have written a blog surrounding the Teaching Games for Understanding uh, model, which is available on our website at primaryphysicaleducation.co.uk. Uh, you're more than welcome to also go onto our website again, go under my courses and you can have a look at all the slides. And I've also put some additional details available to you in terms of uh, some reading you can have a look at of how the models have been utilised within physical education itself. Uh, but we'll speak to you next week. Thanks again.